Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are playing rhythm band. So let me tell you about the instruments you're going to play today. Now, here is something very important. You are going to get an instrument to play today. All the instruments are important. You don't get to pick which instrument you play. You get what you get. Let's do that one more time. You get what you get. Good. Okay, so the first instrument is called, is called the tambourine. The tambourine has metal on it on the sides and then it's made with a big circle here. This is how you grab it. See, grab it around there. Then you put this hand out and then you tap the instrument onto your hand like this. Sometimes you shake it, but today we're tapping it. Okay, so echo after me. This is a tambourine. Hold it like this. To play the music, tap it like this. Nice. So tambourine, hold it like that and tap it. Next instrument are the claves. Everyone say claves. Claves are pretty cool. You hold them like this, but then you relax them. Okay, so it makes an X. And to hold them, you just grip them on each side, make an X, and let's do this. Echo after me. These are the claves. Hold it like this. To play the music, tap it like this. Whoa, so good. So those are the claves. Someone will be playing the claves today. Next instrument is called the triangle. Do you know why it's called a triangle? Because it makes a triangle. You're right, right. So this one is a little bit tricky because you hold at the top of this string right here. Can you see that string? Here, let me go close. Can you see the string? Okay, so that's the string. You hold it at the top of the string and you don't touch the triangle. Everyone say, don't touch the triangle. Very good. So hold it at the top of the string. Some of them have balls on them that you can hold. Some of them don't. Just hold it at the top of the string. Then you have a beater. Everyone say beater. The beater taps the triangle. So you hold the handle side of the beater. If you don't have a handle, there's usually going to be a little loop or something or a little, I don't know, a little corner and you hold that. Okay. So that this side is the side that hits the actual triangle. Okay. So hold the string, hold the handle. And then the important thing is you pretend like you're like a baby frog and you go inside your house and you, then you jump on the floor. That's the trick to playing the triangle. If you whack it on the outside of the triangle, watch what happens. Ah! There's no way you can play a good steady beat if you are hitting the outside of the triangle. So you're a frog, go inside your house, jump on the floor. Got it? Okay, echo after me. This is the triangle. Hold it like this. To play the music, tap it like this. Ta -da! Triangle. Some of you will play the triangle today. Next is the hand drum. This one, you hold it by curling your fingers around this outside part and you try not to touch the white part. The white part is called the head. So you try to curl your fingers so it doesn't touch the head so it can sound really good. Then with this hand, this is called a mallet. So you grab the end of the mallet. This is not a lollipop. You do not put this in your mouth. It is not a lollipop. It is a mallet that you hit your drum with. Got it? Got it. Okay, so curl your fingers around here then grab it with this hand, and then you tap it kinda close to the middle. It can be a little bit off of the middle. Sometimes that even sounds better than the middle. It's crazy. So watch. Okay, so that's how you play. Echo after me. This is a hand drum. Hold it like this. 
to play the music. Tap it like this. Ta -da! Hand drum. Some of you will play the hand drum today. Next is the sleigh bells. These are sleigh bells. When you play them, it's different than what you expect. You grab it and have the bells pointing down. And then to play it, you tap on top of your hand. Hear that steady beat? It sounds like Santa's coming. Okay, echo after me. These are the sleigh bells. Hold it like this. To play the music, tap it like this. So that's the sleigh bells. Or sometimes they look like this. It's the same instrument, it's just a different shape. So echo after me. These are the sleigh bells. Hold it like this. To play the music, watch. Tap it like this. Did you see the difference? Yeah, you have to hold it like that and then tap. You got this. Some of you will play the sleigh bells today. And this instrument is called the cymbals. Some of you will play the cymbals today. This is a little bit tricky. Do you see how they're wobbly? They're supposed to be wobbly. Otherwise, they won't sound good. It is very important when you hold the cymbals that you do not touch the metal. If you touch the metal, listen. Blech. Sounds terrible. So you have to hold this part. And then the other thing you need to know, you don't do it straight like this. <laughs> that sounds bad too. You have to kind of slide them. Here's the hint. Hold one of them still and then move the other one. <laughs> so, symbols echo after me. These are the symbols. Hold them like this. To play the music, crash them like this. So those are the cymbals. Some of you might play the cymbals today. So those are the six instruments that we might get to play today. So make sure that you play nicely, play gentle, or it can hurt your ears and it can hurt the instruments. Those instruments are so delicate. That means they can break really, really easy. So always play gentle, play sweet, and play the steady beat. We're never gonna play like crazy. We're gonna keep a nice steady beat today. So I hope you have lots of fun. Remember, you get what you get.